Thrive is a PFI project, a private finance initiative, um, funded by private money to build public buildings. We're a partnership between the University of Worcester and Worcestershire County Council, and we house both the academic library, which is the university's library, and also the public library. We also have the archive and archaeology service in the building, um, which, is, which consists of 12 miles of archives. So we have all the county's records and all the objects to do with um, the, the county's history downstairs in the building. We've been nominated for about 43 awards and we've won 13 of them. Um, we've been to lots of awards ceremonies but our major achievements have been around the Royal Institute of British Architects in 2013 where we won the best sustainable building. Um, we also won an award from the Royal Chartered Institute of Surveyors for best contribution to community. Um, we've won several awards for leadership um, in our library service as well. Uh, and we continue to, to be nominated and to go in for different awards around our energy efficiency and around our rating. Hive has been, has been designed as a passive building, so it's made to use as little external input as possible, we use as many of the available resources around the Hive as possible, so natural light, natural ventilation, natural cooling, natural heating if possible. So. In that respect, it's been built as a high thermal mass building, so we've got large amounts of concrete slab in the building um, and these will retain any heat and also any cooling in the summer. The way we heat the building, we use natural ventilation, so we'll use the airflow through the building with open windows and encourage a chimney stack effect. This will rise up, draw cold air in in the summer months and cool the building down um, so we don't have to use forced cooling supplies. The BMS is Building Management System. It's a, it's a computer system which is uh, more of a spider web of a network. It has sensors in every room which monitor CO2, um, temperature and humidity and it will adjust the control systems, um, the outputs of that area to suit the set points that we tell it. So it will operate the natural ventilation, the slab heating, um, the trench heating and the, the fan coils. It it's also controls all the plants, so it will control the pumps, the, the speed of the pumps, the temperature of the output, and the window output, the bo bi boilers running, the river water system, and the river cooling. Um, it will control all of these, and it will adjust them to what the building requires, which effectively means we're not wasting energy or making assumptions up to what the building needs. It will monitor it all and adjust the output accordingly and it's been set up to run at minimal. We don't do any preemptive heating or preemptive cooling, it will be as and when required. 